welcome to my video and welcome to Style Me Thrift. Um, today's video is a haul and I'm going to be showing you a variety of vintage clothes that I got from the Sue Ryder charity shop locally to me. Um, my particular one has a rack dedicated to vintage and retro items and all of this came from there um, over two trips. <laughs> so um, without further ado, here we go. First item I'm going to show you is a shirt. I should think this is a 50s, sorry not 50s, uh, 60s, 70s shirt and it's really wearable. Um, I'm trying to find wearable vintage at the moment. I have a lot of quite costumey things but yeah nice black uh, button down with mustardy um, flowers all over it and the buttons only come to here so it's quite nice, easy to tuck in and it's got a kind of double collar. I don't know if you can see that, there it is. Um, so yeah, it's really nice, lovely little details and this was £5.50. Another shirt, this one is a silkier material than the last one, I haven't managed to wear this one just yet. This again was £5.50 and it's this amazing um, paisley black and white stripey shirt. So really nice. A bit more cropped this one so again I'll be tucking this into high-waisted things um, but really nice really gorgeous I love the pattern I love paisley but because it's quite graphic at the same time it's just a bit different the final shirt I got from Sue Ryder is this um, more neutral one I guess and it's a lovely brown it's got stripes and flowers in a pink pastel -y color really nice Dagger collar again, um, but not as extreme as some of my other shirts. And this one actually does have a label in it, and it says Ro Rodier Paris. I've probably pronounced that wrong, but in case you're interested, there's a label. This was £5.50 again. Next piece is a CNA dress. Um, this might be a little tricky to show you. So it's a midi length dress in this amazing emerald green colour, it has big collar, or it has a big collar, but it also has a scarf around it to do, um, yeah, to tie it around. So when it's on it looks quite um, librarian chic, which I really like. Long sleeves, um, tie around the waist, bring the waist in, and it's lovely A-line shape. This was I think £12 so that is really amazing. Next is a shirt dress. This I would say is 1970s again and what um, one thing I didn't mention is that all of these things um, on talking to the lady behind the counter um, they all came as part of the same donation so they were obviously the same ladies um, wardrobe which is lovely. I feel like um, I've kind of just stepped into my own wardrobe, it's, it's amazing. This one, the label's been cut out, which is a shame, but it zips up the front. Um, I didn't mention the green one zipped up the front as well. Midi length, again, which suits my figure, um, sort of pear-shaped, so bring it in at the waist. Um, yeah, skim over the thighs. <coughs> and this one has a tie belt. Again, um, the belt has these really sweet green plastic details there, so really nice and really flattering. This one was £6. Another dress now, this one is a um, pinafore style dress, quite fitted which is really nice and it's zip up the front, midi length again. This one is St Michael's, there's the label. It's got a little belt to bring it in at the waist and it's houndstooth uh, with the greeny pinky pattern really flattering on um quite fitted as i say so it looks it just looks really nice and i wore this to work and felt really chic in it and um, this one was six pounds the last dress this one is probably the most out there and i'm not sure how often i'll get to wear it because it feels quite um delicate because of the fabric so this one here midi length Again, it's funny because, though I guess it's 70s, everyone kind of thinks it was all like mini skirts and go-go boots, but actually lots of people were wearing um, quite conservative lengths still, and this one has a um, high neck, has a cravat, which um, 
<laughs> I don't I don't actually own anything with a cravat on it, so I'm quite looking forward to wearing this. Um really pretty pastel yellow. You can get a better closer look of the floral design there. Sleeves are ever so sheer. I have a few dresses like this. So barely there fabric and on the cuff this is really unusual. I've never seen this before. These are actually glass um, buttons, they're glass sparkly buttons, so they catch the light really well and that creates a nice weight around the wrist. Um, so yeah, that is the gorgeous dress. It's by Sutin of Mayfair. I may have just murdered that pronunciation. And this one was £18, so most expensive, but um, really nice. Just really pretty, and I think, well, eighteen pounds is still very reasonable for such a beautiful dress. So I need to find the right occasion to wear this. The last piece I got from Sue Ryder is um, very unusual. This is clearly handmade, and is quite um, equestrian or Edwardian in style, but with the details that make it psychedelic nineteen seventies. So it's this jacket, um, and there's a fair bit going on. So lovely deep, sorry, lovely deep blue colour, crop sleeves, you can just see the fabric there, and it's got this amazing detail of embroidery on velvet, running down the panelling, and these this beading with the flowers in here, and sequins, and applique, really nice. And then around the bottom, Completed is um, this lovely floral pattern again and some lace so it cinches in at the waist this was eight pounds which I think is just unreal when you think of the hours that I've gone into making this jacket I just want to try it on so you can see it a little bit better Ooh. so I mean it's, it's amazing I'm really looking forward to wearing this for an occasion you can see it buttons up and cinches in here and on the back it's got this amazing detail too so that was the last piece I got and this one I thought was a bit wild card because I was trying to buy things that are really wearable um, because so often vintage clothing can feel a bit costumey um, and this is quite costumey but I couldn't leave it behind uh, so that's all I've got. Um, I can say all I've got. I had quite a few things there. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these vintage items and yeah look in your local Sue Ryder charity shop. Um, not only will you find amazing things in all charity shops, really unusual pieces quite often, but the money goes to a good cause and often vintage clothing can just be really 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 expensive and I found all my most favourite pieces and most unusual pieces in charity shops. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking through these vintage pieces with me. Um, do subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to see. Bye!